Um, well, hi. Um, I made a couple of notes because I started thinking about what am I going to say when I intro Nashville. I said there's so much stuff that went on, but uh, the the I could I probably this was my first movie role, and how could I be luckier than to get into an Altman movie on the first time I was you know in a film, and um, and it was because we had the same agent, and and I can remember Altman uh, got on the phone with me and and. Um, and then he said, uh, oh, no, that was for Late Show. I forgot. Wait. <laughs> uh, for Nashville, I didn't talk to him before I went in the movie. Sam put me in the movie. And uh, then I went down to Nashville and all that. And I thought, all those people coming in, I thought, well, I could play half of these roles. <laughs> and so then the more I saw them, I saw how brilliant Altman was at casting, and I said, well, I must be more like Linnea than I ever realized. And so uh, then when we had the cafe scene, uh, and I knew, when I, I knew when I was preparing that it was a better, it was a great, it was an important scene for Linnea. When I'm sitting in the back of the cafe and Keith Carradine is singing I'm Easy, and all the other girls are there who've uh, been to bed with him, and I'm a married woman. I have two children, two deaf children, as a matter of fact. And uh, so, and I, so the, the scene played out, the daily played out, and I just was horrified. I thought, oh, I failed the scene so badly. And I sneaked out before the lights came up, and I went back to our, my motel room. And then Scotty, who was uh, Altman's great assistant, whom everybody knew at the time, who really worked for him for years, and Scotty had kind of a lisp, and she always she always had a cigarette, and she said, "We're just we're very worried why you left the theater before the the lights came up," and I said, "Oh, I, oh, Scotty, oh, it was just horrible. I just failed the scene. I don't know what to do. I was beside myself, I, and I wanted to get out of the movie." But of course, we'd filmed so much of it already, and Scotty said, well, well, we didn't think it was so bad. And, <laughs> and all like that. So, and I did the same thing in 9 to 5. I, I saw the first dailies, and I wanted to get out. I went to Bruce Gilbert, and I said, you can let me out. You don't have to pay me or anything. <laughs> I just, I just, I'm going to ruin the film. And then the next day, I saw the next day's dailies, and I was really good, so... I said, I think I'll stick around. So the thing I wanted to tell you about was when and Altman's style of directing was just so freewheeling. And when we cast the two kids who were non-hearing, they were really kids who were deaf and could not hear. And the first two kids that came, he hired them. They were just, that's great. Those are the kids. Those are our kids. And I saw him do that time and time again. And when actors would say, well, what do you want in this scene? And Altman would say, I don't know, why don't you surprise me? <laughs> and I think that's what endeared him to so many actors. And we just loved him beyond description. He was like, but he was a scoundrel at the same time and a, a big bear of a man and had great appetites. And he would be smoking weed on every night when we'd watch dailies and drinking. And, I, and when I first was there, I said, I said, How, is he going to be OK tomorrow? <laughs> and I come in, and it's like 6 o'clock, he's riding the crane already. He was just magnificent. And he was so forgiving and so OK with everything. And, uh, and whenever anybody came to visit us on the set, Elliot Gould came, uh, Julie Christie, and, um, and Karen Black, and he would put them in the movie. <laughs> he would just put them in the movie. And Karen Black came, and uh, he made her into a country singer. And we were just all up in arms about it because she was only going to be there four days, and we were all there for two months. <laughs> and we said, went all, we went on mass and complained to him, why is, Ju why is uh, Karen Black only here for four days, and we have to all be here for two months? And he said, you're not supposed to like her. <laughs> and it was just that simple. Anyway, I, I hope you enjoy this film. Uh, I certainly enjoyed making it. And 
and I got nominated for Best Supporting as a result. I did not win. I didn't win, but it was, it was such an auspicious debut in, the, in films and, and uh, carried me for quite a while. Anyway, um, thank you for being here tonight, and I hope you just love it. <laughs>